What's going on guys? It's your boy the whole package man back here today with another video man and today man We got the number one console settings, bro. I am the number one console player on Vanguard So I'm gonna be giving you guys my settings. This is probably my first video. I've done something like this, but um I do play on a regular ps4 controller so if you guys would like to see me get a battle battle beaver or something else with sticks buttons on the back and tell you guys how that is let's get 35 likes on this video and also i did this video because a lot of people in my my stream my twitch stream uh asked me what my ads sensitivity is or what's my sensitivity or what i play on dynamic or whatever like this this will be answering those questions, so make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe to the video for more informative videos. And let's get into it, man. So, um, like I said, I am a PS4 player, so I'm playing on regular PS4 controller, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's how you get the sense. Okay, so, with the sensitivity, bro, I know a lot of y'all like to be cracked out, bro, you know, doing 380s on kids, 360s, uh, 1,000 turns. But, bro, once you play higher skilled people, bro, you want to know why you're not hitting your shots and stuff like that, bro. You need to, like, really lower your sensitivity, bro. I mean, a 5-5 five five is perfect for me. Sometimes I'll go to a 6-6, six six, but I don't go uh, more than that, bro, because it just doesn't make sense, bro. Once you play tryhards like me and you're missing shots, you're going to get mad and you're not you're going to lose a gunfight so definitely stay in between a five five six six um ads sensitivity bro i do i do use 1.0 for the for the longest time i don't know when they incorporated this ads multiplier or whatever it is i didn't know that you could actually lower it to like 0 0.90 0 0.80 so i've got accustomed to it being a 1.0 um i guess that's why i play maybe like a lower sensitivity a little bit um, if you guys are playing with this like a point forty and stuff like that, I mean, you're going to have to get used to your sensitivity, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like you're missing more shots, lower it, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like it's too loose, lower it. If you feel like it's too tight, up it a little bit. Go shoot box. This is how you get your aim to be perfect to the T, as, as best as you can aim, you know what I'm saying? As best as you can aim, because your aiming ability is not going to be the same as the other person's aiming ability. But you need to have your settings right to be efficient when you're playing good players when you play noobs you can do anything but you're playing good players you want to get better at the game make sure you are tuning your settings right so um we're gonna go with i play stick and move as well uh, stick and move um, also i shoot with the uh, triggers i don't shoot with r1 or r2 I don't shoot with that i shoot with the triggers so um yeah no flipped um aim assist curve type we're using dynamic i've been using it since the beginning of the game um, vibration off all oh, this is pretty much normal what I'm gonna get into now bro this is very important too uh, dead zones this all dead zone and sensitivity all has to do with your aiming um, bro if you have a perfect controller um, it's supposed to be at 5 perfect controller 5 as your controller gets worse as you see that your stick is getting bad you know, go up one, go to six, go to seven, go to eight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So do that with your dead zone. Um, and you will see, you know, a better result with that. So um, what's another thing we get into? Also, I'm going to tell you guys the story with the dead zone as well. Um, so I just figured out this week that bro, I was playing on like a zero dead zone. And I was literally like, like mouse and keyboard. When people got close to me. I literally was like scooting across them, bro. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't aim. And bro, I put them. I was, I may have been playing on for like a month, bro. But the controller just recently got bad on me with stick drift. So um, I'm glad I found and put my. I had them both on zero, so I'm glad I found it and put it up to uh, uh, five. So I went up to six because the controller is a little bit bad, and that's just an example of that. So um, with the controller, I think we're good with the controller. Let's go to gameplay. Um, ADS aim sits on, target aim sits on, just regular stuff, man. Um, partial, completed ammo switch on, okay, yeah. That's good. Automatic sprint off. Now, that's one thing I didn't know I played on. I play on automatic sprint off, bro, so that's how I play on. Um, that's not too much of a big thing, so uh, whatever you guys want to play on. Um, field of view. Let's get into field of view, bro. 
so the the pros play on a 107 pill of view i do have a bigger monitor so i could go with a lower fov um but at the time i was playing on a 24 inch i went to like a 110 or something like that but 107 is the sweet spot for me um i've been playing on with the 1440p monitor it's absolutely perfect um if you're playing on 120 bro you're just literally trying to go for clips and look cracked out it's nothing like you playing on 120 has nothing like it really effect it like it it has a negative effect on your game bro and people who play that bro you literally just look silly so don't play on that bro and this is all standard stuff right here that you guys can copy um camera movement all that stuff copy that audio i turn the whole music volume down um don't want to hear no music vanguard hit markers i love vanguard hit markers um all that you know standard stuff um so let's, let's get into this all right so if you guys want to if you're playing console bro this is console settings bro console settings if you want to show your latency in game where you can look top left you know as you guys see i have latency pack and loss and fov if you want to turn one on or off you can go to that go to that i don't think a lot of people know this um i got system clock you know off um and you also also contains the size of them as well um so yeah mini map shape square i use the square one uh, circle on his ass and yeah that's it for that um that's pretty much it man if you guys did enjoy this video man it's your boy the whole package man the number one console player man is giving you guys the number one settings for console like I said, man, a lot of people ask me on my Twitch, what settings do I use? What settings this? Blah, blah, blah. This is the video to help you guys. Um, once you go to my, if you come to my Twitch stream, I will link this video. So um, make sure you guys do tune into the Twitch. If you're new, new to the YouTube, tune into the Twitch. And also, if you're new, hit the subscribe button, like the video. Also, leave a comment, man, of saying what settings that you play on now and like what do you think you need to do what you're saying is to get better at your uh, call of duty game also man if we hit 30 likes in between this video bro i will upgrade to a battle beaver and also give you guys the settings with that um so uh, and also man i have this thing to tell you guys man i will be moving to pc bro why don't for a two um i have literally have it built right now just waiting on the gpu so it's kind of short, bro. You're not going to be on console anymore. But I, I still give you guys tips and tricks, bro. So if you guys want more informative videos like this, man, hit the like button and let me know down in the comments description below. If this video does good, I'm going to do more informative videos. Or maybe even teach you guys how to play Call of Duty. Maybe do a voiceover in my own gameplay. So if you guys enjoyed that, hit the like button, subscribe. Also, it's your boy, the whole package, man. I'm out of this thing. Peace. Let's get it. I'm talking about.